We came across the Holden factory and I thought, well, it's disused, it's been decommissioned, there were buildings of the right period. We came back, contacted our location manager and said, why don't we have a look there and let's see if it could happen. And they were just sensational. We were very lucky to have scale at General Motors Holden where we could shoot exterior wide shots that showed the size of buildings, showed green rolling lawns, and we could also composite with visual effects in the harsh, contrasting desert mountains behind. So for us, it was a sense of scale that really drew us to shooting out of the Holden site. Production designer Scott Bird has brought a real sense of scale to our interior sets. I can shoot a wide shot that has a person at the bottom of frame, a giant super video screen and a ceiling all in one shot, which for me as a director is, is a joy because I've effectively got interior landscapes. There are 168 monitors and 169 if you count the big screen, which is fed by a projector. I had to get all the information onto screens. There are a lot of open sources out there that the art department is drawing on to create these, and they're basically creating simulated signals, if you will, to give what I think is a good, believable uh, representation of Pine Gap. We feel very confident that what we've been able to do with David's help is represent the variety of the work that the Pine Gap operations floor does without actually slavishly following every detail. And I'm really proud of what the art department have managed to do and Jeff and his team have photographed it beautifully in the Matt's direction.